I am so good. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Oh my gosh, you look so cute. I love your outfit. Oh, thank you. You look cute too. I love the setup. The Alley Bay Show. You. Yes, you're here, girl. Thank you for having me. This is awesome. You're so talented, girl. Oh my God, thank you so much. Coming from you, I'm like, <laughs> I, I remember seeing one of your um, little videos that you posted on Twitter, I think, and you were singing all by myself, like right oh, at the beginning yes. of quarantine. And I was like, this girl is talented. <laughs> that is so sweet. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, well, let's go right to it. I have a few questions to ask you. It's all going to be very easy, light and fun, I promise. Um, <laughs> but just like me, in the beginning of the pandemic, you were preparing a big tour and yes. you couldn't do it because of the pandemic. How did you deal with that? Oh my gosh, it was so hard and I know you understand because you went through the same thing. It was, you know, preparing for it and going out on my very first tour was amazing. But mm. I had to shut down and that was so devastating, you know, because I, I dreamt of this my whole life. I worked so hard for it and then that, you know, happened. But you know, getting into, you know, coming home and, and quarantine and all that, it was so rough at first because, you know, you're there and you're quiet and our lives were used to being out on the go, you know, go, 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 go. All the and, time. <laughs> yes. And so it was hard adjusting, but at the same time, it was nice because I got time to myself. I got time with my kittens, my babies, <laughs> oh. who I love so much. And then, uh, you know, I really just made time for myself and got to dive deeper into my friendships and, and relationships. And, you know, I was very blessed to have, for the most part, a positive experience. And my family is okay, which is the most important part. But, you know, of course, up and down and and just kind of mm -hmm. like everybody else and it's, yeah what about you yeah for me it was pretty crazy too um i mean it's the same thing um we're, we're so used to being active all the time and doing so many things and then suddenly we were just locked up but i managed to create a lot too and i saw that you did so much i mean there's a book and there's music yeah. and there's a podcast yeah. and um you were talking about the time that you got to spend with yourself and like really dive deeper into your friendships and even like uh, self-awareness and you can really see that in your new projects how does it feel to show yourself more to the public in all of these projects that you released Oh my gosh, it has been, you know, this past year has been crazy, but I've been so, you know, grateful to have worked and to be able to, you know, come out with new music and also mm -hmm. it gave me time with my book, you know, to finally complete it. And yes, <laughs> and you guys have it in Brazil. It just came out but, uh, called En Busca de Armonia. And Ooh. You know, Brazil has just shown me so much love and, um, I was always there to support and is so passionate and it means so much to me. Um, but yes, it's been amazing to be, to stay active, to be busy, to be doing everything I'm doing. Now I have a podcast until, you know, I come out with new music. So it's been a blessing. And just like you, you know, I want to encourage people and young women to be themselves, to own their own voices, mm -hmm. to own who they are and not be afraid to, express themselves and and have fun with their lives and to be kind to themselves because it's hard you know um but just to have that you know, what i love to uh encourage my fans that's such a beautiful message and since you're a little girl you have been saying that you want to be a light in this world which is so beautiful and i mean the way you talk and the way your fans talk about you can we say you achieved that goal? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, it means so much to me. I mean, that is really all that I want to be through my music, through my art, through my entertainment. And, you know, the fact that you guys say that is so sweet. So thank you. That's 
That's my whole goal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for having such a positive message to everybody and all your fans and even who doesn't follow you. The first time they see you, you can feel it. So um, it's just great that you're doing something good to the world. We really do need more people like that. Um, and is there any fan moment in particular that you'll never forget? Oh my gosh, girl, there's so many, especially in the <laughs> You guys are so passionate and loud mm -hmm. and crazy in the best way. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so when I was on my low-key promo tour and I performed at the, I think it was um, at some uh, theater, I think, or school, and it was free, it was a last minute show that I was doing, you know, just a few songs, um, and you guys packed out the place. The whole room was packed. When I came out, I actually came out from the audience and surprised everyone. And I don't think I've ever heard anybody yell that loud before. Oh. That the most awesome feeling because that was my first return to Brazil solo and uh, my first performance solo and, and with my first single, low key. So many things. It was a moment <laughs> so wow that's so good to hear you your brazilian fans are gonna go insane when they see this <laughs> they're gonna be like i was there i remember she's so yes. Yes. <laughs> um and who inspired you growing up oh my goodness so many artists i would say of course number one was selena quintanilla she mm. made the way for me i just fell in love with her spirit, her music, her everything, her essence. Um, she is, is my number one. And then I also grew up with uh, artists like Gloria Estefan. Um, I, yes, I love Shakira. Um, I grew up with a lot of different artists. You know, I think seeing the, you know, Latin women you know, who, who kind of represented me and my family on the screen or on stage or in music videos. That meant a lot, you know, seeing uh, people who look like me and especially women who are taking charge, who are groundbreaking, who are doing incredible things for music and for, you know, the Latin community. So those are some of the artists that I really looked up to growing up. And, you know, Jennifer Lopez too, Mark Anthony, um, there's so many. That's amazing. All these women are amazing. And like when you're talking about them, you can you can really see um, that you really value that, that artists like use their voice to change something in the world and that they paved the way for other young artists that are coming up. Um, and you can really see why you do what you do based mm -hmm. on your inspiration. So yeah, that's really beautiful. In your book, you're really vulnerable about a lot of things. Um, when you were when you were creating it, was it hard to go back to all of these memories that really hurt you and put them into words? How was that? That was one of the hardest things about writing this book because you know I was faced with you know going back to those moments, reliving mm -hmm. them, recalling mm -hmm. them, and that was really really hard because you know there's a lot of pain in some of those moments. But mm -hmm. at the same time, looking back. Being able to see just how far I've come and where I am, mm. you know, that now is just crazy. And it, uh, you know, it really showed me just the power of perseverance and believing and faith. Some, some of the most important values that I hold. Um, and being able to share that, you know, with my audience, with my fans, being able to tell them, you know, this is what I overcame and you can overcome too. And also look at all these other very, very exciting, surreal moments that happened to me, moments that I didn't think at times would happen. It's so cool, you know, and, and I, I really hope that, that through that, you know, another young girl can get inspired or another boy will be able to say, you know what, if she overcame that, then I can overcome this, you know? Mm -hmm. It's so, so good that you choose to look at all of this with such a positive uh, point of view. Um, and now I've, the next question is more like an advice to all of your fans. And even for me, um, when you were going through these hard times, what turned your pain into courage? Like, how was that? 
Uh, number one, my faith. My faith in, uh, you know, in God and, and knowing that He has a plan for me. Um, my family was there to encourage me as well and to say, you know, you've got this and, and one day things are going to change and they were there to pray for me. And also a lot of my friends or a few of my friends, I could lean on for encouragement as well in those dark moments. That is what helped me. And also realizing that, you know, life does have its challenges. It, it has its hardships and we can't control that. But we can mm -hmm. control how we react to them. And it's not easy. There are, you know, life can be difficult, you know, where sometimes you just have to cry or you just have to feel your pain, you know. But mm -hmm. I think that you can take a step each and every day to move forward like just envisioning yourself in the future you know envisioning yourself where you want to be or in a better situation or happier that is what helped me and knowing sometimes it's just a season wow that is so beautiful oh my god i'm, I'm thrilled right <laughs> i'm so happy to be talking to you and you were talking Thank about you. your faith and we saw that you put out um a project called worship sundays um yes. yeah i love that and do you do you plan on someday just putting out music related to your faith oh yes so worship sundays is like another really fun personal side project that uh -huh. um it's really just a chance for me and whoever wants to join everyone is welcome to come and and like worship and to uh receive light and to receive hope through these songs that I'm singing and that's on my YouTube channel the whole series will launch soon <laughs> um, <laughs> I've been working on a bunch of other you know things for it so that's why uh, it's kind of taking a minute but I released one clip and basically that's just something that shows my heart you know that I, I just want people to be filled up and to receive that that light that um, you know through through the music And uh, also, you know, doing my podcast. But in the meantime, I've been recording uh, for the past few, gosh, months. And a lot of new music will be coming out soon. I know my fans are dying to know. And yep. uh, I can say that I know you guys are going to flip when you hear this new stuff. It'll be out, like, relatively soon. <gasps> Okay, okay, I love it, I love it. I'm super excited. No spoilers? <laughs> Ooh, I can give you a little spoiler. Let's see. Um, I think you'll have something really awesome to jam out to this summer. Ooh, oh my God, that's such a good spoiler. I'm going to be so excited now. <laughs> Just anxiety, anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have to tell you, I'll, I'll slide you a DM or something when, uh, you know, It comes out. <laughs> yes, 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 please. Um, I will be dying to hear it. Um, so you mentioned your podcast. Where did that idea come from? Well, it's funny because I had actually played with the idea of having a podcast three years ago, but it just didn't work out. I wasn't feeling it yet. I wasn't comfortable and mm. the timing wasn't right. So it was always there. But basically, one of my managers will... He was like, you know, you would do a beautiful job of speaking and telling your story. Um, and I think it would help a lot of people if you if you wanted to, if you felt ready for that. And I was kind of like, I'm not sure. You know, I struggled being vulnerable. I wasn't ready. But then the timing was so perfect uh, this past, you know, few months. So we prepared and I have an awesome team around me. And mm -hmm. it has been amazing like the first episode that i had was a big one you know i was very vulnerable about you know my experience in fifth harmony and um how it wasn't you know what i what i thought it would be and also i opened up about my faith and about how i believe in miracles how um i you know have seen many miracles in my life there's so much that i uncovered in the first episode and I have been met with so much 
beautiful love and support. I was so nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm revealing a lot. You know, this is big for me. This is nerve wracking mm -hmm. for me. But you know what? It was one of the most freeing things I've ever done. And the fact that people have loved it and have been touched by it and have uh, been so supportive, it blew me away. So yes, basically that's how it came about. That's amazing. I really got into podcasts lately, so I'm, I'm definitely going to uh, put your show on my list. Um, <laughs> and you mentioned that you learned a lot on Fifth Harmony. What is your biggest lesson? The biggest lesson I feel there was everything happens for a reason. And I was so much stronger than I think, than, than I, yeah, than I think. And, um, you know, just knowing that, um, that I am capable of so much. And I used to think that I did not have a voice, but now, you know, in this time of my life, I have a voice and it's the most beautiful feeling. So yes, that's what I've, what I've learned. That's great. Um, and what advice would you give to young girls that want to start in music just like you? Oh, uh, I would say to make sure that you are grounded in who you are, that you don't let anybody try to change you or take away your value or your worth and to work hard, don't get dis well, it's easy to get discouraged in this business. <laughs> I've been discouraged a many times. <laughs> but knowing that everybody goes through that and you can continue to fight through each and every day with what you're doing. And as long as you lead with, with, your, with your heart and you work hard and you continue to push every day, um, I believe that you will see amazing things happen and that um, I believe dreams completely come true because it happened to me. Like that's the advice that I would be given when I was younger and I would mm -hmm. see other artists say. So I followed that, you know, as hard as it was. And look at me now, it's, it's crazy. Um, so I, I would say just stay true to who you are and let that shine in your art in what you do. Oh my God, that is so important. Essence is, um, essence, I guess. Oh, English. Yeah. Um, um, it's so important, right? Because yeah. um, it's just, it just makes you shine. It just makes you pop and uh, among all of these other people. And it's important that you stick with that because so many people try to change you throughout the time and there's so much of like oh but this is cool right now and this is cool right now you just yeah. gotta do you you just gotta do you exactly you you said it girl literally <laughs> you gotta do you and not listen to all the noise all the craziness um because once you do that you know you begin to set your own path nobody else mm -hmm. very true i love that um and you also shot a movie how was that experience for you and what can we expect from sophia your character Oh my goodness, that was so, such a special experience. It was my first film. It's alongside Kelsey Grammer. And oh, it is such a beautiful message of, of hope and a journey to redemption. And what I loved about my character is that she's just this light in a way mm -hmm. in the film. And she's very strong too. Like she, she uh, is very independent. She's grounded in who she is. And I learned a lot from her. And I also learned the, the beauty of simplicity um, through her. And we shot that in September in Atlanta, Georgia, or really in like mm. Ackworth. And it was so beautiful. It was such an amazing cast and crew of really good hearted people and loving people. We all wanted to work hard and to give our all for this film. And I think the number one thing is that this film's full of love. It really is. Mm -hmm. and I hope it shines through. And it's it's kind of a crazy film. Um, if you, well, I know what happens. I know the story. It's, it's crazy, <laughs> but it's a deep message and it's beautiful. And there's so much in it about, um, just about hope. And I know people need that. And I don't want to mm -hmm. give too much away. That's why I'm careful with what I say. <laughs> I was so blessed to be a part of it. That was one of the biggest gifts of my life. And I think about that film like almost every day. I miss it. 
Oh my god, I can't wait for it to come out now. And about sh love shining through. If it was made with love, it'll definitely shine through. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, now we have two questions to go. Um, it, I want to I want to test your Portuguese a little bit. You have been okay. to Brazil a few times. You have been to Brazil a few times, and um, there's so much here. And you mentioned that you love uh, the fans, but what else do you love about Brazil? Oh my gosh, I love the Perigadero. The um, pão de queijo, the <gasps> casco. <laughs> oh my god! I don't need to touch Portuguese. It's it's amazing. <laughs> yes, I I really I mean the food. Obviously, the people are number one for me. The fans mm -hmm. are just absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much to love about Brazil. What I love is that you guys. You lead with your hearts, and you will do anything for the people that you love, including me. <laughs> and it is <laughs> the, the cutest thing, and I I don't take that for granted. I really do have such a, a special love for you guys. So thank you mm -hmm. for always treating me with such love and and grace. And you're always there to just mm, pump me up and <laughs> anything. So thank you. It's very true. We're very passionate people and we love to hear that. We always hear that. But and we don't really realize it when we're like when we're here. But then when I travel, um, when I travel touring, then I really I can really see what it is, what the other artists are talking about. It's like when we love something, we do anything and everything for that. So um yeah, I, I just love when people mention that because it's so true. And is there anything curious or different that happened to you when you were here in Brazil? Oh my gosh, yes. Many times I was like almost trampled <laughs> at the airport. Uh, the fans got my backpack and like swung <gasps> down basically. <laughs> but obviously I don't endorse that. But I know it comes from a place of love, you know? I, I know nobody's trying to hurt me. Um, the fans have been very passionate about me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about the backpack. <laughs> Okay, girl. Hey, you know what? It, it was from. It was with love. So, <laughs> funnily enough, uh, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, please, please don't yank me again. But uh, <laughs> you and I love all the hugs and the sweetness and all of it. I just am so in love with Brazil and the people and the fact that you guys, you know, value me that much means so much to me. So yeah, that that was pretty awesome. <laughs> Ali, it was so good talking to you. One more time. Um, Thank you for having me. You're awesome, bro. You're so talented. You're such a great interviewer. Like, come <laughs> on. You have an even brighter future ahead, girl. You really do. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. I, I've, I've been watching you since, like, a long time ago. So hearing that from you means a lot. And I can't wait to see what you have planned for us, the movie and the music. I'm excited for summer already. <laughs> Um, Me too, girl. <laughs> no, yeah, thank, thank you so much. <laughs> you beautiful. Have a good day. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>